Hey, fifth grade, welcome to our science experiment. We're going to be working with our volcano project today. We're starting out with something called great stuff. I'm going to hold this up to you, see if you can see that. This is the spray foam that is the cheapest that I have found so far. So we're going to try that one. I've seen several different kinds of spray foam in the stores. Some of them say water-based and some of them do not. I've tried it both ways and the water-based ones seem to melt really quickly. So we're using one that is not water-based, which means messier cleanup. So we have covered everything in plastic for now. But there are some supplies that you're going to need. You're going to need some duct tape. You're going to need spray foam. You're going to need a pie pan. Thank you. Any kind of pie pan will do. You're also going to need an empty water bottle with a lid. Doesn't matter how big it is, but it does need a lid. This is going to be the height of your volcano. So whatever bottle you choose, that's how big your volcano is going to be. Now one of these spray bottles will usually do at least three volcanoes. So if you want to have things out to make more than one, if you want to have stuff available to make more than one volcano, just in case, you can do that and have everything ready for you. We're going to go ahead and tape down our water bottle to our pie pan. You can do it however you want to, but the spray foam will move your water bottle. So you want to make sure that you've got it in the center of your pie pan and secured somehow so that you can use it. Before we start with any kind of spray foam, we've got to put on our safety goggles to make sure that we are prepared just in case some of those fumes get in our eyes. So we'll have on some safety goggles. And normally, I would ask you to get some kind of gloves for your hands or to wrap your hands in a plastic bag or something like that before working with spray foam. It's always a good idea to have an adult do this part. You have to shake the spray foam up for one minute. Shake it really hard. You want to shake it really hard? I want you to draw. No. Okay. Shake it really, really hard for one entire minute before you start, or it won't really spray out very much. It'll be kind of a skinny little string of foam when you do it. Okay. Then have an adult attach no, I the nozzle to the spray foam. Then, you're going to start at the base. It didn't come out. It didn't come out. We did not spray it enough, did we? Fill in the base first. And that come out, Mommy. It does come out. You want the base to go out kind of wide around the bottle? Then work your way towards the top. That way your volcano can be kind of volcano shaped. Now, don't worry about the exact shape that you're making as you go up because your volcano is not going to stay that way. Overnight, your volcano is going to change shapes. It takes 24 hours for the foam to set completely. And as it sets, it changes the shape of your volcano. Do not touch it. Do not touch it. Uh-uh. Don't touch it for 24 hours. A volcano? Yeah, we're going to put a little bit more down here. Now an adult has to do this part. Alright, we're going to leave this one. 
to set up and we're going to try one more since we still have some spray foam in our container. So I'm going to set this one safely down right here where we will not touch it and we'll start with our next one. Wow. On another pie pan, we've got to start with our tape. Mama. Now, how long does it take to set up before we can touch it? Five hours. 24 hours. It has to stay for 24 hours. Go ahead and use all the spray foam because once it starts drying in there, Once it starts drying in the straw, you're not going to be able to reuse that anyway. So go ahead and use all your spray foam. Don't touch it. He touched it with Okay, these are going to be Mariah and Samuel's volcanoes. And we're going to paint them tomorrow because we have to wait 24 hours for them to get ready. Nope, don't touch it. <laughs> but volcanoes all are made by layers and Why layers of lava that hardens. So as we go, we have a lot of layers and you can really see the layers when this dries. It's going to look a lot like marshmallow fluff it, Mama. and as it hardens you will notice a complete texture change and overnight it's going to continue to expand. It will continue expanding for 24 hours. Sometimes it will even flood over the sides of your pan so be very careful. Leave a little bit of space as you can and you notice at the top, I left the lid completely free, no foam on it. There's a reason for that. We got to be able to take the lid off to erupt your volcano. But the lid needs to be on there when you're making it or the spray foam will actually crush the bottle. So I want you to leave the lid where you can still get to it. The foam's going to continue to expand. I actually made this one a little bit too tall. The foam's probably going to come up over the lid when it dries and we'll have to cut through it. You can cut through it with regular scissors. But we'll have to do that to detach the lid so that we can erupt it, but leave it sealed during your experiment for this part so that the bottle will not crush. We're going to leave these so that they can set up overnight and we'll pick up with the day two of your volcano project tomorrow. Good luck!